Still shadow boxing, Mark. <laughs> what a fight. There's no stopping you now, is there? <laughs> One of the best I've ever seen. It's unreal. Well, unbel- um, right up there with Hagler and Hearns. Unreal. What a fight. Unreal. What a fight. And the show today is quite rightly dominated by the brilliant fight in Vegas. We've got ex world champion Barry Jones, current world champion Lawrence Acoli, in to talk us through, Mark, through what I think one of the most magnificent nights in British sports history. I agree. Oh, totally, totally. One of the greats. You know, one of the greats. You know, he's gone there. Well, we can't even talk about it. As you can see, I'm still wound up. It took me ages to get back to sleep and everything. You, I, <laughs> I, I think you've got to reset your body clock for that one. Why, how could you go asleep after that? I know, yeah. That, this, this, you, you basically were using up adrenaline from other postcodes, <laughs> I think, by, by the end of that round. I was, I was. It was just a spectacular fight. Um, it was, yeah. I, I mean, like, we'll talk about it, but to get up three times from one of the biggest, if not the biggest, punches in boxing history, what a champion Tyson Fury is. We salute you. Coming up on the show as well, we've got uh, Nailing Your Colours. Uh, yes. It's Newcastle United. Seems uh, appropriate. <laughs> uh, and the Sports Doc Countdown. Uh, but first, my dear friend, Mark. Mark, blame me. How about it? Blimey being the exact phrase. <laughs> 30, year, uh, yeah, 30 years ago, I was at Wembley Arena yeah. to see my very good friend, the dear departed Gary Mason, yes. go into the ring against Lennox Lewis, mm-hmm. who who's clearly was on his way to being... Greatness. I would still say that, yeah, yeah, heavyweight greatness, world heavyweight greatness, mm-hmm. uh, and you could debate all day long about whether you think Lewis. Well, we should. Or, or this is what talk exactly. is. And while we're here, we'll do it. Now, I spoke to Gary a, a little while after that, and this this will ring with you as an ex fighter. He said to me, I didn't think these would be the words he used. He said to me, Mark, he said, I didn't know I could be that brave. Mm. He was torn to pieces for seven rounds before the TKO came in. Yeah. And just that idea of a man who is it's just a big, powerful individual yes. who who went to a place in his psyche that he didn't even know existed. Mm. I just think it's an incredible thing for, for two men to do. And there's just something about it that is so impactful when they're that big. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Is, I mean, obviously, uh, Deontay Wilder is one of the biggest punchers, you know, in heavyweight history. Some say he's the biggest puncher ever, yeah. you know. Uh, and he's knocked Tyson Fury down three times. The chin on that man and, you know, the, the heart that he gets up and mm. then stops him. And let's be, let's be brutally honest. He won the first fight and they call it a draw. Yeah. Uh, he's beaten him three times, in my opinion now, certainly twice. Uh, and, you know, uh, to go to their backyard, although you did say something really interesting earlier on. He said, Vegas is now a British fight venue, isn't it? <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about that in terms of it from a fan's point yeah, of view. Yeah. Because it was at the start of our superb coverage, which we just Brilliant. had, that we just reheard there for the for the last hour, and they got Bob Aaron before the fight, they and did. Um, and he, you know, obviously, you know, he could not look more like American boxing promoter yeah. from Central Casting <laughs> if you tried. I mean, I'm, you know, he must have been in the Sopranos and all of the Godfathers. <laughs> I don't, but um, he said, uh, so to paraphrase, without the Brits, it's not an event, mm. and it's interesting. It, and this this became extraordinarily apparent when Ricky Hatton went there yeah. uh, and through the kind of Floyd Mayweather period. Yes, Joe Calzaghe. Exactly. Top, top fans. Is you know? that what doesn't happen particularly in the States is they don't get boxing fans at boxing events. Mm. They get event fans mm. at big events. Mm. And you can tell the way... We, the little island mm. is dominating boxing. Mm. We send, you know, our personality, our tone, filling up football arenas... Mm. It's a British concept. Yeah, it is. And and we we warm to boxing, it would seem, much more quickly than than the American audience does. I mm. mean, it's a big country, yeah. so you're still going to have a lot of people watching a lot of fighting. Yeah. But it's with it, it, you know, Bob Rand seemed to have tapped a nerve there. I felt that he felt yeah, because we we treat it like a football game. He says, "I miss the songs." Yeah. Which is which well, is a weird. lot of boxers do that. Obviously, Ricky Hatton with Man City, Joe Kazaki did with Cardiff. They tap into sort of frotch with Forest fans. They tap into like, like their teams fans as well. But yeah. Tyson Fury is slightly different from that. He hasn't really got a football team. No, <laughs> he's no, just, no. Just a, well, he's a kind of United. Yeah. You know, Rowetta yeah, was cheering yeah. him on last just, night. Just a, a big Man United fighter, fan. really. Um, but you're right. There's a certain atmosphere that comes with British boxing fighting fans. But, but, but what's really interesting for me is. If there's a good argument to be had, is he the best British heavyweight ever? Because, mm-hmm. you know, Lewis was a fantastic heavyweight as well. It's certainly between them two, in my opinion. I know they were great fighters in the past, you know, like Tommy Farr and all them. But, you know, as a world champion, he's he's boxed everybody. He's boxed them in their prime. He's gone to their backyard and won. He's done astonishing things. But I thought he was quite magnanimous after. Because he could have been sort of uh, lording it with superlatives, going, yeah. I'm the greatest and all that. But he didn't. He said, I'm the best of my era, which uh, I agree with. Superb. Which was superb, yeah. A way of saying, you know, I'm the best. But actually... 
There's not many people you would bet against Tyson Fury in the ring of any era because of the size of the man. Mm. And he's got an amazing chin. He can box. But if he catches you, that, what is it, nearly 20 stone, you're going to stay down, aren't you? That's the thing. If he catches you, you're in trouble. So as a boxer, he's actually got everything. The reach is incredible. Oh. I mean, do you know the, the, to not to be out scratch your knee and not bend down is a, <laughs> is, a, is a remarkable asset. Um, yeah. Not one that I've ever been able to manage. And, and I was a bit worried when he came in at the Wayne's, got a t-shirt on. And you think is he's not yeah. he's not in the nick that he was. And let's be honest, you know. He looked. He looked like me. You mm. know, he's kind of just yeah. an. There's an ordinariness about his shape. Well, yes. There's an ordinariness about his shape in terms of being an athlete. Yes. You know, there's. But there's he's a born fighter. Plenty of mid yeah. mid weight waistline he action going on. But he's, he's got. A, yeah. He's got that all. Isn't a natural ability. He's a, his natural ability. You know, he comes from a tradition of, of you know of fighters. He's got. He's got it all. You know, he's got heart. But also, he's got that showbiz thing which you need as well. You know, yeah. so you know the songs and he sings and all that. After he's the complete package, really. Yeah. And he's become a multi million pound uh, sports star attraction. And as you said, you know, this is something that everybody last night was, oh, this morning, you know, I was getting like texts from Noel Gallagher going, did you see that? And yeah, I was going, yeah. yes, you know, everybody was watching this. It's right an event, it was an it? Ev- Absolutely, it was yeah. an event. And we'll all remember this because this is one of the high watermarks of British boxing, yeah. certainly British heavyweight boxing. We've got we've got the best heavyweight in the world at the moment. AJ's another sensational heavyweight. He had, the, you know, he had sadly had the loss but they could fight and like you said Mark well, that's a Wembley Stadium fight waiting to happen I mean that's yeah. that's got 900,000 people is. would pay to go and watch which that which is two Brits yeah, will have, we'll have the arguably the biggest fight in boxing yeah. which is wonderful news but but justified as yes. well now yeah because he's well I mean Usyk's probably got something to say yeah, about that in the good, middle yes. of somewhere but, and, and, and in fact quite I read rightly, the last few hours yes exactly but and it's, it's been announced that they will rematch AJ's the, so that's got to happen first but, yeah. but it is and the other thing about it, John, again, it's it's because you know that world so well that we cannot deny the fact that that Fury has his demons mm. and carries them with them still. Yeah. But I don't think there's ever been a fighter in the world that hasn't kind of got that side to their character. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's probably not a human being that no. hasn't got that side exactly. to their character. Absolutely. So, but everything's enhanced when you are when yeah. you're that big. Yeah. And 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 that well known. Yeah. Everything is magnified. Totally isn't agree. It? Totally agree. I mean, we're all you know. All cultures are word for the wolf inside. You're always fighting good and bad and black. I mean, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing, you know. And, yeah. and human beings have that. He has it, and he's. Because I think that's why people associate with him because he's honest about it. He's yeah. gone. I've had mental health issues. I've struggled, you know. And I go, well, I've, you know, I've done that's happened to me. And then people associate that. And he's then, a fallible human absolutely, being, absolutely. Yeah. Who is the toughest man in the world? Yeah. <laughs> so, that, yeah. so they go, so you, you, you go, oh, well, I, I, I associate with that. 